Yes, now we'll continue <coughs> with the next topic that is null matrix. Mat null matrix is simply a matrix of any order A, Aij, order M into N. Not necessary a square matrix, it can be any matrix. Any matrix of order M into N where each element a i j is 0. This is symbol for all i and j. This is called null matrix. For example, this will be a null matrix. This will be a null matrix denoted by O 2 by 2 this will be a null matrix 2 by 3. So null matrix means a matrix which will be of any order which has each and every element coming as 0. Now coming on next, uh, these are the type of matrices. After that now we are coming on operations or we will say algebra of matrices. In that first thing is equality of matrices. Two matrices A and B. A matrix is A, I, J, order M into N. And another matrix is B, that is B, I, J, order P into Q. These two matrices are said to be equal. If and only if A, if M is equal to P, first condition, that means the number of rows in this matrix should be equal to number of rows in this. Second one, number of columns here should be equal to number of columns here. N is equal to Q. And third condition says, a i j is equal to b i j for all i and j. Number of rows and columns in this and this must be same means the matrix A and matrix B should be of same order. Same order means number of rows and columns here should be same as here. That means m is equal to p and n is equal to q. And then second condition is A i j is equal to b i j means corresponding elements has to be equal. For example, if I have a matrix A, B, C, D and if this is coming equal to another matrix 1, 2, 3, 4. These two matrices are equal. Why? First, the rows are 2, 2 rows here, columns 2, yes here and then their corresponding element has to be equal. So in this case, if the corresponding elements are equal, that is only possible when A is equal to 1, B is equal to 2, C is equal to 3, D is equal to 4. So if two matrices, they are saying equal, first thing we should check whether they are of same order or not. If they are of same order, that means the number of rows in first is equal to number of rows in second. Number of columns in first is equal to number of columns in second and their corresponding element has to be same. If these conditions hold, we will say the matrices are equal. And in this uh, short question can be asked in which two matrices will be given to you. And then they will say these two matrices are equal. You should find out the unknown value A, B, C, D or whatever they want. So this type of question they can ask in equality of matrices. Next one is addition of matrices. Next topic is addition of matrices. Now, two matrices, if I am taking one is A, A, I, J, order M into N, another matrix B, B, I, J, order M into N. That means I am saying two matrices with the same order. Then we can add these two matrices. If this matrix and this matrix have different order, you can't add it. If the two matrices are of same order, we can add it. 
and how we are going to add we are going to add the corresponding elements means a i j plus b i j new order will be also m into so new matrix will be simply the addition of two corresponding elements so here in this case for example if i say a is having element 1 2 3 and 5 another matrix we have b 2 5 7 and minus 2 and if I say you write down what is A plus B, then corresponding element first, they are of same order. If they are of same order, we can add it. How we add it? 1 plus 2, that come out to be 3 here. 2 plus 5, it will be 7 here. 3, 7, 10. And then 5 minus 2 will be 3. This will be the addition of two matrix. Keep in mind the addition is only possible when the two matrices are of same order and we are going to add. So addition of two matrices will be done simply by adding corresponding elements. So simply the corresponding elements you will be adding and then you will be getting your result. Now one more thing left. What are the properties of addition? When we think about properties, first property says commutative property. What the commutative property says? Commutative property says that if you have a matrix A and B, which are of same order, if you add them A plus B you take or you take B plus A, the result come out to be same. So this property is going to hold. Commutative property for the addition of the matrices hold. Second is associative property. What associative property says that if we have three matrices A, B and C with the same order. If you add A plus B first, then you add C or you add A plus B plus C, the matrices again come out to be same. This is called associative property. Addition, commutative, associative property also going to hold. Then comes existence of identity. What is existence of identity? It says if any matrix A you take, any matrix of any order, let it be M into N, what matrix I'll add in it that I'll get the matrix back? Can you tell? What should be the matrix I should add here that the matrix will remain same? That is only possible when you have a null matrix with the same order. Here it is also null matrix with the same order. So null matrix will be called as additive identity. So null matrix of same order is called additive identity for the matrix A with order M into N. So if a matrix is given of order A M into N, then the additive identity will be nothing but a null matrix which will be of same order. So if you add it, nothing will change. The matrix will remain same. This you should keep in mind. And the last property says existence of inverse. Existence of inverse. Here we say identity exists. Additive identity exists. And additive identity will be a unique element for the same order matrix. Existence of identity says that if you add uh, one matrix, you take M into N. What I should add that I get a identity, additive identity. One matrix is of order, order A, M into N. What I should add that I get a identity here, additive identity I am going to get here. That is only possible when you have minus A, M into N. That means minus A in M into N will be the additive inverse. So if I say one matrix is there, 1, 2, minus 3, 4, can you tell what should be additive identity? That will be 0. Matrix, what the answer should be? 0, 0, 0, 0. 
this is your additive identity okay and if they say additive inverse then it will be minus a minus a means minus 1 2 minus 2 then this will be 3 and minus 4 so this way we have existence of identity also existence of inverse also next time we'll continue